What's up, everybody? In today's video, we're going to be digitizing the Bitcoin logo. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Eclipse tool to make a circle. Let's see, it doesn't got to be perfect. I'm about to adjust it real quick. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to click on Outline. I'm going to click the uh, Unlock on the Proportional Scaling. And I'm going to make it exactly three by three. Three by three. Perfect. Um, now I'm going to relock the proportional scaling. I'm going to change the spacing to 0.36. I'm going to go to special. I'm going to change the column width to 3 millimeters. Enter. Underlay. I'm going to add an edge run and then a zigzag. Now I'm going to lock it. Next step is actually I'm, I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to cl click control D. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click shift M. And let me see what color was it. Okay, so this is gonna be orange, 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 orange. Let's see, eight, nine. They're both orange. Um, H. Start endpoint right here. Start endpoint. Same thing. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna connect this jump. Now I'm just gonna click on three. I'm gonna change what that color to white. Green white. Perfect. I'm going to lock both of these. Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'll come on my white. I'm just going to be using a run tool and the column A tool. So if you click on run tool, you, if you click space, it will up. Let me see. Okay, if you click um, the run tool, then you click the column A tool. Once you click space, it will alternate between the two. Okay, using the column A tool, I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hold control just to make it straight across. I'm gonna hold control again still, and I'm, I'm gonna take a big chunk. I'm, I'm gonna overlap it. And enter, I'm gonna use the run tool to get to travel over here. Same thing, column A tool, hold control. Let's see, where's the other one at? Okay, so it's around like right here. I'm gonna take that same big chunk of it, enter. I'm going to run down, let's see, I think over here. Okay, I'm going to go from here to here to run over here. Do this part, that part, that part. Do this middle part, and then run back down here. Run it over here, and then back up, complete it. Okay, using the column A tool, I'm going to start right here. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go straight across. I'm going to straight click right here. Right click over here, right click, let's see, right click right here, straight click over here, right click over here, straight click, and then again over here I'm gonna start with a straight click now, straight click over here, and then I'm gonna go straight down over here, straight down over here, straight down over there. Curve, straight, curve, I mean right click, straight, straight, and now I got to overlap it, so I'm going to click right here, Let's see. over here, and I'm going to hit enter. You can make adjustments if you want to by clicking H, Let's see, matter straight point. See if it goes down here. Another straight point. There we go. Other side is good. I overlapped it. So this one I'm gonna have to overlap it as well. Okay, now I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run down over here. Column A tool. Overlap it. Overlap, overlap, enter, run over here, follow me again. Let's see where this one's at. Okay, like a run over here. I overlapped it, enter, run to the top over here. Enter, column A. I'm going to take a chunk of this part. 
great great i'm gonna right click right here right click over here right click over here right click over here and i'm gonna put a straight point right here and a straight point over here now I'm hit enter then i'm gonna run back down over here column a I'm gonna take a little bit bigger chunk. I'm just gonna put this one straight across. See, but I'm gonna take it more than I should. Because I want it to overlap with both of these. Curve over here. Curve. 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 Great. Great. And if it's like too much, I'm going to go back just a bit. So curve. Curve. Straight. Straight. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Straight. Straight. Curve. 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 Okay, I'm hit enter right here. I'm gonna click on this one H. I'm gonna make a curve one. Okay. Drag it down just slightly. But actually, I took a little chunk. That's fine. So I'm, I'm gonna do it like this. And then I'm going to click the run tool. I'm going to run to the top. I'm going to start right here. Column A. Straight. Straight. Now it's too little. I'm going to take a bigger chunk. There we go. That was already a curve right here. I can't be taking too much because then it's going to take the accurate part I did away. I think it's just fine right here. I'll make adjustments if I need to. Curve. 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 Let's see. Back a little. Curve. Straight. Curve. Curve, curve, and I'm I'm gonna adjust this part right here. Curve, curve. Let's see. I'm gonna take a chunk of this. Straight, straight. Enter. This is. So we're going to the top. I'm gonna to the bottom. Click H, right click, adjust it, Let's see. curve, and then I'm gonna split out. I think that's fine right here. And I'm actually gonna adjust this part, so I'm gonna click both of these. I'm going to drag it more inward just to overlap sufficiently. Let me see. And let me check this one as well. This one I'm as well. I'm going to adjust this by putting it more in. There we go. And that is how we decide the Bitcoin logo. I'm going to see. Let me see. Let me add the underlays where I need it. So I'm going to select all my column A's that are sat in. Underlay, edge run, and zigzag. And before we embroider it, let me check that I have the both the correct underlay for these. So this one is going to be a tatami. Tatami. This is going to be an edge run and a zigzag. Perfect. All right. And actually, the last thing that we're going to do before we embroider it, we're going to click on our satin stitches from our column A's. We're going to change the stitching facing to 35. 
36. 36. I'm going to make some slight adjustments. I'm going to click on this one, this one over here, and this piece. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to change the setting count to three. All right. And that is how we decide the Bitcoin logo. Thank you guys so much for watching.